welcome to the lecture on scattering theory and in this particular lecture we will discuss what the scattering theory is and where do we use that particular theory and what is the mathematics behind that and what are some of the uh, what what are some of the uh, theoretical results that we are interested in deriving and so the first question is what the scattering theory is so it is the theory to study the collision processes right what are the collision processes so when two fundamental particles strike to each other and not only the fundamental particle it may be anything striking to anything else but if the size of those uh, particles are very small then we have to use the quantum results so in that case uh, we will use the uh, results that we will derive in this particular lecture series because the results that we are going to derive are in the conditions uh, where the quantum theory is needed right so these are just the collision processes in atomic nuclear optical particle physics the second question is that uh, why we are interested in the collision processes and whatever we know about the atomic uh, optical nuclear and particle physics all uh, those things are just the result of ex uh, scattering experiments right so that important the scattering experiments are because the whole thing that we know about the nucleus about the particles the fundamental particles and so on are just uh, some kind of uh, result of some kind of scattering experiment just to give you some idea i have just written down two of the examples the one is the discovery of nucleus right you all have studied the alpha particle experiments in your class uh, school physics so there you have studied uh, the alpha particle scattering experiment with the gold foil and the result of those experiment was that rutherford was able to conclude that there is some kind of heavy uh, heavy particle at the center of the atom and we got the nuclear model of atom or the planetary model of atom which was given by rutherford so that important uh, was that scattering experiment another important thing is that whatever we know about the quarks or the other fundamental particles we know all the information uh, just because of some kind of a scattering experiment so, uh, right there is uh, there are various quarks which has been discovered just out of the scattering experiments right so the important thing you just can conclude is, is that it is almost compulsory to know the basics of scattering theory whatever the physics you do in your career the atomic or high energy physics or condensed matter physics or anything you do have to know about the scattering experiments because that is very important at least the fundamentals you know so in this particular lecture series initial lecture will be just to define the important terms in the scattering theory like the differential cross section right we will define what the differential cross section is we will define what the total cross section is we will define what are the scattering angles the scattering amplitude and left frame and center of mass frame let me give you some hint about the left frame and the center of mass frame so when you do some experiment in your lab that is what the left frame is in that particular frame you have the target which is at rest and you are throwing some projectiles right on that particular target which is at rest with respect to you so if the target is at rest with respect to you and you are throwing some particles or projectiles on that and you are observing the scattering results of that particular uh, experiment that is what the left frame is but the center of mass frame is that uh, when this is particular particle this is the target and this particular system has some center of mass and these two particle will collide at the center of mass what is the benefit of using center of mass is that uh, in the center of mass the angular momentum and the linear momentum of the system remains conserved right after the collision before the collision if there is no external influence on the system so theoretically it is uh, very beneficial to use center of mass frame but the actual experiment is conducted in the left frame so we must know what is the difference in between them and how do we connect different quantities calculated in, in in these two different frames for example we will calculate the scattering angles in left frame which will not be equal to the scattering angle in the center of mass frame so we must know the relation between those scattering angles in these 
two different frames so that is what we will calculate in this particular coming lectures the second thing the differential cross section is also dependent uh, depend on frame right so scattering differential cross section in left frame is different than the uh, differential cross section in the center of mass frame so we we must know how they are different and how they are related to each other so that if we know uh, the differential cross section in one frame we can convert it uh, converted uh, it into the another frame so that is what we will do in the initial lectures we will define these important terms because these are the terms which we will use uh, to study the scattering phenomena the most important term is the scattering amplitude right the scattering amplitude f of theta and phi what we will do uh, we will in the whole series of lecture the most calculation that we will do is just to calculate theoretically the expression for scattering amplitude and then we will derive a relation between scattering amplitude and differential and total cross section right so if theoretically we know the scattering amplitude we can calculate the differential cross section and that calculation we can uh, use to compare with the experimental results so theoretically we are interested in calculation of scattering amplitude experimentally we are interested in the calculation of differential cross section in the total cross section theoretically how do we calculate this scattering amplitude we have these two uh, methods one is to use the lipman swinger integral equation and it is the general equation and uh, it is in fact unsolvable initially but we can solve that particular equation in the spatial case by applying the born approximation right so we will apply born approximation to calculate solve the lipman swinger equation which will give us uh, the calculation or the expression for scattering amplitude then later we will use that expression to calculate the differential cross section which we can uh, we, we can compare with the experimental results the another technique that we will develop in this uh, particular coming lecture is the uh, partial wave analysis of scattering theory right again uh, the result of this particular particular theory or particular method is to calculate the scattering amplitude again which we will again relate to the differential cross section or the total cross section which is the aim of this particular scattering results because these are the two quantities that we can calculate or we can measure in experiments and this is the quantity that we are looking theoretically so in the whole lecture series we will use these techniques to calculate the scattering amplitude later we will uh, use the expression for scattering amplitude to calculate the differential and total cross section so this is what we are going uh, to do in this particular lecture series and uh, it is challenging the ca uh, calculations are challenging but i hope that you will enjoy and uh, thank you for this particular lecture